Welcome back. <laughs> oh, Master. I wonder what kind of dream we'll have tonight. <laughs> well, let's go together. Seek you. You arrive at the cafe after pushing your anxiety and worried thoughts out of your mind. You step out of the rain and you close your umbrella before stepping inside. The bell to the door ringing behind you. Ren was standing behind the counter and the moment his eyes met with yours, a bright smile crossed his lips and he lit up. Love! He quickly exclaims, happily relieved to see you, while he quickly sets down the dishes. Akechi hasn't arrived yet, so he informs you before pressing his glasses to his face, smirking softly. I guess that means I get the first hug and kiss, he proclaimed, pulling his apron off before he walked around the corner to fully face you. He stretched his arm out wide, exclaiming playfully, Super strong! Best boyfriend hug go! Mm -hmm. <sighs> hmm. A soft giggle escapes your lips as Ren hurried over to you, his arm stretched out, ready for a big hug. However, the sound of the cafe's bell chimed above you, and you felt warm arms wrap around you before pulling you back into the fresh wind of outside. You blinked, confused, watching as the door swung closed. Ren realized a surprise yelp <laughs> as he smacked into it. Suddenly, you heard a familiar evil chuckling above you, <laughs> causing you to flick your gaze up to be met with a catchy. He wore a wide, proud snicker on his lips as he looked at Ren, amused. I believe the agreement was that I'd get the first hug and kiss on the message board. Akechi turned you around, pulling you into his warm embrace. Hello, pancakes. I missed you. Hello, pancakes. I missed you. He leaned his head down, pressing a soft and sweet kiss on your lips. Mwah. Ren let out a muffled groan through the glass as he remained leaned up against the door. No fair! Akechi opened the door, causing Ren to stumble forward, nearly face planting into the ground. <laughs> But he had caught himself. Whoa! <laughs> I got tricks of my own, Akechi. <laughs> Girlfriend steal! Yeah. Ren suddenly swooped you up, off of your feet, and into his arms, bridal style carrying you back into the cafe. Chaka chaka chaka! <laughs> chaka chaka chaka! <laughs> chaka chaka chaka! He cutely sang before laughing softly, looking down at you. <laughs> Good afternoon, love. I haven't gotten my kisses yet. Mm. He leaned his head down, pressing his lips against yours, humming deeply into the kiss before pulling away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Suddenly, a timer went off in the kitchen, causing him to perk up. Uh oh, dinner's ready. He pecked one more quick kiss on your nose. Mwah. I worked really hard on it, love, so I hope that you enjoy it. You smiled back at him, face flushing slightly as you nodded your head. Ren quickly motioned for you to take a seat before walking back behind the counter to finish preparing the food. The detective took a seat beside you, grumbling under his breath, appearing mildly annoyed towards the male in the kitchen before he released a soft sigh. 
Yeah. He turned towards you, flashing a sweet smile. <laughs> How has your day been? Pancakes? Akechi's face softened, seeing the bit of sadness that crossed your face. He quickly leaned in closer, taking your hands in his as he softened his voice. Hey, what's wrong? Did something happen? You snapped your gaze up to the mail, smiling gently, admitting you've just had a lot on your mind recently. Nikechi searched into your eyes for a moment before he closed his eyes, smiling understandingly. Ah, uh, yeah. I bet it's still a lot to process. He opened his eyes once more, gazing into yours. Well, if it helps any. He leaned closer, his lips beside your ear, as he whispered sweetly. No matter the decision you make, you will always be that same beautiful and special person I met and instantly felt a connection with. He sweetly caressed the lock of hair behind your ear before kissing your cheek, chuckling gently. <laughs> Never forget that, okay? He sat back in his chair. What did he say? Are you two whispering secrets behind my back? Ren huffed as he came around the counter to their side. Oh, nothing at all. I just was warning her of how terrible of a cook you are. <laughs> Akechi smirked softly. <gasps> Ren gasped as he set the plates of food down. And after I cook dinner for you, honey. <sighs> Akechi growled lightly, glaring the cook down. I'm not playing mommy and daddy with you today. He murmured bitterly, causing you to giggle gently. You assured the meal would be fine before beginning to pick up the spoon to grab a bite of the curry that Ren made. Akechi, however suddenly touched your arm, stopping you. You hummed confused, looking over at the male as he eyed the food suspiciously. May I do the honors of having the first bite? I'd hate to sit here and allow you to take a bite without testing for poisoning first. Uh, uh, what? Ren blinked, huffing. Wait, I, I made it, so... Isn't it only right if I am the royal taste tester? Right, right, uh, right, right. Nikechi smiled, threatening at Ren. <laughs> no, no, I insist. It's the right thing for me to do. Deciding to play along, he scooped up some food off of your plate and held it out towards Nikechi, who released a confused, uh? As you fed him, his orbs widened a light blush coming across his cheeks as he chewed the food and hummed gently before swallowing. The catchy furrowed his brows, grumbling. Mm. 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 It's not poisonous. Well, it's not poisonous. <laughs> Ren flashed a bright smile. Yes, of, of course it wasn't poisonous. Why would I feed something that I can't cook to my lovely girlfriend? <laughs> he chuckled gently as he picked up a bite of food, offering it to you. My turn. Say, ah... Uh, he sang lightly. You opened your mouth, releasing an ah. Ren slipped the spoon into your mouth. You hummed gently for a moment as you chewed before swallowing, eyes going wide from the burst of flavors. <laughs> well, 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 is 
Is it good, love? Is it? Isn't it? Ren asked, his voice sounding hopeful as he bit his bottom lip, anxious to hear your thoughts on it. Mm -hmm. You smiled reassuringly at him, giving him a thumbs up. Ren's grin brightens as he laughs. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> I, I'm really glad to hear that you love it so much. I worked really hard to make sure it was perfect for you. He spoke gently. You wouldn't believe the number of failures I went through. You asked if he really did all that for you. Well, of course, I do love you. He whispered lightly, taking your hand in his to lovingly stroke it with his thumb. Ren perked, speaking up. Well, my turn to be fed, he sang. Ah, 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 ah. You began to guide the spoon towards Ren, when Akechi suddenly slid his hand under your chin, guiding your attention back over towards him, while his other hand had picked up a bite of food for you. Sorry, Ren. But I believe your turn is up. Whoa, uh, uh, whoa, hey, that's not fair, Ren whined, but Akechi expertly ignored him. I want to see your cute face light up when you get a bite now. Say, ah? Uh? <laughs> he chuckled gently. Akechi went to press the spoon into your lips, but was stopped by Ren, who suddenly stood up and pressed his lips around the spoon, taking a bite. Um. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Akechi deadpan slightly as Ren chewed on the food, humming innocently. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, love. You're right, love. I did improve a lot. He muffled through his mouth full of food. Hakechi felt his brow twitch a tiny bit as he glared Ren. What was that for? Ren swallowed the food in his mouth, smirking softly. What was that? You fed me food. Sweetie. <laughs> Don't call me that, he growled, knowing Ren was only sane and doing all this to get under his skin. Well, then maybe when I ask my girlfriend to feed me, you shouldn't butt in, Ren stated, matter-of-factly. Oh, Akechi scoffed gently. Oh, Please, you're not making a point at all. You're just trying to selfishly hug her yet again. Uh, I don't think I know what you're talking about, Ren responded to Akechi's voice a little tense. The female suggested maybe they should stop feeding each other and just eat together. Akechi quickly put on a smile. <laughs> Good idea, pancakes. I want to hear all about your day. Ren quickly put a smile back on as well. Me too, love. Did anything interesting happen? The three of them went on to make idle chit-chat as they ate throughout the meal with no other incidents. Blah, 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 Ren stood up, grabbing all of their dishes so that he could quickly clean them and the tiny mess he made in the kitchen. Once Ren walked off from them, Akechi perked up. Oh, that 
reminds me. He turned his attention over to you. Have you, have you ever played darts before, pancakes? You shook your head, stating you wouldn't be good at them. <laughs> Don't say that. Perhaps you just need the right teacher. Now, let me just retrieve it from my briefcase. He pulled out his briefcase and opened it up, revealing two bullseyes and darts. He questioned if he had always carried that around. Akechi shook his head. No, a friend of mine in a local cafe allowed me to borrow them for a bit. Care to give them a try? You nodded. Here, allow me to set this up then. The male proceeded to set the bullseyes up on the walls before turning to Ren. Oh, I hope this is okay, he called out to Ren. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. Just please don't break anything. I don't think the boss would be too happy if something got broken on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed meekly, responding from the kitchen. <laughs> I catch he chuckled in response as he picked up a dart. Don't worry, I won't break anything. Much, he murmured at the end, as he lined himself up with the target and threw the first dart landing not far off from the middle on the first shot. He turned his gaze over to you, beaming with pride. See? It's easy, he exclaimed. He mumbled how you won't be capable of getting that amazing of a shot on your first try. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. I suppose not, but it doesn't hurt to try. I'll spot you and give you tips, he assured you as he stepped back. You hesitantly stepped up, throwing the dart toward the target, only for it to land into the wood of the wall besides the board. Be, be careful, Ren exclaimed from the sink. Akechi snorted gently. <laughs> it's all right. At least you landed it on something. Besides, Suddenly, he stepped up behind you, pressing his front side against your backside. Resting his chin against your shoulder, he lowered his voice into a raspy whisper. You just need the right teacher, like I said. Right. You nodded. Focus. Akechi whispered, his hands gently gripping your hips as he slid his foot between your legs, spreading them out. You get a much better stance if your legs are hips length apart, he explained, still keeping his low, raspy voice against your ear. You don't want to slouch either. His hand slid up your back to grip your shoulders, pulling them back towards him. You want your shoulders and hips stacked on top of each other. Don't roll your hips or bend your legs. The male slowly slid his hands back down to your waist and placed a kiss against the side of your neck. Some dart players will lean slightly forward, but only do so if comfortable. And don't lean too far or you compromise your throw. You nodded. The male chuckled. <laughs> Slightly wrapping his arms around your waist, pulling her back, flush against his front side. I'm sorry. Am I distracting you a bit? Hmm? Ah, hmm. He hummed innocently before planting a few more kisses around your neck. Mm. 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 I can't help myself. Being close to you like this 
with your skin right there in front of me. Oh. Hmm. He released a deep hum as he nipped softly at the skin of your neck, causing you to slouch your head. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Don't slouch. Akechi whispered playfully, straightening your back again. Draw an imaginary line from your foot to the board. Intend to follow through on that line to the mark you wish to hit on the board. He continues to kiss. Mm. And more. Gently against your skin. His other hand gripping your hip. Hold the base of the dart with just three fingers. Your thumb, forefinger, and yep, there you go. You're already getting the hang of it. You're already getting the hang of it. He chuckled. <laughs> now, just pull your arm into a 90 degree angle. Then once you got all of that down, simply throw. And remember to flick your hand down as you you had completely zoned out. You had completely zoned out on what Akechi was saying. You threw the dart, not allowing him to finish. The dart rotated through the air before it hit the board and fell to the ground. You deadpan hard, blinking, while Akechi chuckled gently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I apologize. I am playing a little dirty right now. I guess I'm not that good of a teacher after all. <sighs> he chuckled, amused once more before, pulling your flush up against his body. But I can't help myself around you. You're so adorable. And, and I, I really want to be your favorite, the one that you <sighs> The male sighed, shaking his head as he pulled away to retrieve the dart. He picked it up and turned to face you. Go ahead and give it a few more tries. I'll stop being a tease and give you advice from the side, he assured. You then proceeded to give the dart a few more throws. After another miss from the board, you released a long groan. It's all right, love. You're getting closer, Ren assured, cheering from the sides. <laughs> Akechi laughed gently, walking up to the board. That's true. Sometimes you just need the right motivation. His voice grew raspy and laced with malice as he taped a picture of Ren onto the board before walking back towards you. May I? He hummed. Wait, is, is that me? Ren exclaimed. Why do you have a picture of me? Do you just carry that on you? All the time? Akechi brought his arm up and threw the dart at the board, nailing the picture of Ren right between his eyes. Ren relieved a soft squeak, wincing slightly from the shot. <laughs> Bullseye. Now you try. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ren exclaimed quickly, running in, pulling the image off. I don't find this very funny. Ugh. His orbs widened, seeing a dart was heading rapidly for his face. He quickly jerked his head to the side, the dart barely missing his face, and landing right on the bullseye. Ooh, 
So close, my sweet stack of pancakes. But hitting a moving target is harder. She came closer to hitting me than you ever would. Ren commented. Akechi's voice lowered. Oh, is that so? He was cut off by his phone suddenly going off, causing him to jump slightly. He pulled his phone out, a soft snarl leaving his lips. <sighs> I thought I told him today was my day off. <sighs> he sighed profoundly, taking a deep breath before he turned towards you. Sorry, I must take this really quickly. He leaned forward, pressing a loving and deep kiss against your lips. I'll be back. He left, stepping into the fresh air outside to answer the call. You look back at Ren, hurrying over to him, reaching a hand up to caress his cheek, expressing concern and apologizing. Ren laughed, gently. <laughs> it's alright, love. I know you didn't mean it. Plus, that was a perfect shot, he exclaimed. You turned your gaze to your shot, as you murmured that you supposed that... You had it in yourself after all. <laughs> Ren chuckled gently before perking up. Oh, I just remembered. I had something for you. He purred. Come on. He grabbed your wrist and led you over behind the counter. Okay. Now. Now. Close your eyes. You raised the brow questioning him. He scoffed. Huh? <laughs> you say that like I got some sort of scheme to taste your lips. I would never do that. Ever. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. <laughs> you laughed, shaking your head, seeing right through his devious plan. Ren groaned, pouting softly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Please just close your eyes, love. You nodded, doing so. Okay, now I just gotta open this. He popped open the fridge nearby. And... He began to make a drumroll sound effect as he made his way back. Voila, my love. You can open your eyes. The male beamed proudly as he held out a box of chocolates. I know that you love baking, and I found a chocolate recipe lying around. And Sojiro showed me how to make it. So, I... I hope that these are really good. I put all of my special boyfriend love into these. And I say I put all of my love in, but... Sojiro helped with most of the cooking, but... Uh, uh, he murmured at the end before he picked the piece of chocolate up. And you did so too. Say, ah, uh, Ren sang. They both sang playfully before popping the chocolatey goodness into the mouths of the other. They both began to hum in delight from the flavors in their mouths. Mm. Oh, mm. 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 Sojiro, I mean, I did an excellent job, he exclaimed, threw his bite full before swallowing, laughing meekly. <laughs> you hummed, stating Sojiro did an amazing job, causing Ren to gasp. What? <gasps> but... I helped out too, okay? I did like 50% of the work. Okay, maybe it was m more than like 30% because I pulled away a bit to call and talk to you. 
10% because I also burned the first batch and Sojiro just told me to step aside and he'd handle it. Uh, uh, um, okay, uh, fine. I, I just... I just did that special boyfriend detail supervising. Hmm. Boyfriend detail supervising. Very special. Very special. One of a kind. But a lot of my love still went into making these bad boys. These bad boys. He huffed loudly. You assured him that y you were just teasing and messing with him. What? What? what, what? Uh, 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 I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> hey, hey, you got a little bit of chocolate right there. He suddenly leaned forward with his tongue, licking the corner of your mouth. <laughs> he chuckled softly, seeing your cheeks turn bright pink. I have to say, love, it's always super cute seeing how flustered you get. And making you turn pink. He complimented, causing you to huff out the word cute. Ren laughed as he pulled your body against his. You're right. You always look beautiful. He suddenly leaned down, pressing soft kisses against your cheek. No matter what we're doing, or where we're at, he began to trail his kisses from your cheek, down your neck. You always make me so happy. He stopped the assault of kisses for a moment. Yeah. A bit cheesy, I know, but it's true. I love you. I love you. I love you. He slowed down his kisses. Every inch of you. Everything about you. He hummed deeply, nipping gently at some skin. He released the skin to lean his forehead against yours. I... I want to keep you as mine forever and ever. Suddenly, Akechi's voice. Suddenly, I want to keep it as mine forever and ever. And ever. <gasps> Suddenly, the catcher's voice flared up in anger behind them. I apologize. Am I interrupting something? <laughs> <clears throat> he snarled gently. Ren stepped back, turning to face the catchy. <clears throat> hmm? Is there something wrong with hugging my girlfriend? Huh? Akechi stepped further into the cafe and walked up to Ren, reaching across the counter to grip the male's shirt as he glared coldly into his eyes. Do you think I'm stupid? He spat out his usual calm voice, completely con now, replaced with his unhinged side. I've been keeping a close eye on you. You've been trying to hug her and keep her to yourself this entire time. Interrupting us by rambling nonsense in the background. Then, the moment I leave, you think you can just swoop in and take her from me? And what do you take me for? An idiot? I am not the leader for nothing, you know. I heard you whispering how you hoped you were her favorite. He said... Coldly, you're just as guilty of trying to steal her from me as I am from you. You're a villain, just like me. <sighs> Akechi snarled softly at him, 
before shoving Ren back and releasing his shirt. She's... She wouldn't be the first thing that I loved that you took away from me. But I'm not rolling over this time and playing dead. She is mine. And I'm not losing to you again. <laughs> Ren scoffed loudly walking around the countertop to fully face Akechi. What do you mean? Not the first thing I took away from you. Since when have I stolen anything from you? He exclaimed. The males were inches apart, and bodies talked as they glared the other down. Akechi lowered his voice into a low, threatening growl. You know what you did. Oh, really? You say that I ramble nonsense, but who's the one uttering complete bullshit now? Oh, I'm spouting bullshit. Why? He chuckled insanely. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Perfect. God, I hate you. <laughs> uh, the feeling is mutual. Uh, the two gasped and fell silent as you snapped for them to stop pointing out all the things they had done during the date. You expressed you loved both of them equally. You began sobbing, softly excusing yourself as you left up the stairs for Ren's room. The two males fell into a moment of silence before Ren spoke. A catchy. Uh, you're both right. I... I was trying to butt in a lot, and I just... She means a lot to me. And I want to be the one who makes her happy and smile, and I want to be at her side forever and always. And the thought of her one day never being at my side again scared me. No, it scares me. I still hate you with every fiber of my being. <sighs> but I... But I do still consider you a good friend. I just get so tired of falling behind. Everybody loves you. You don't even need to try or fake anything. You just... <laughs> put on this stupid smile and everyone falls to their knees in front of you. I cough or sneeze the wrong way and... And the next thing I know, everyone is running away from me. I envy you. Uh, Ketchy, have you seen me when I'm around different people? I act so differently depending on who I am around that. I honestly lose track of who I really even am anymore. Some days I get a bit depressed and anxious. I, I wonder if I said the wrong thing or reacted wrongly to a situation and if there will be consequences that I have to face later. Or if people will go back to thinking that I'm just a no-good troublemaker. He breathed in and released a deep breath. But then, I think about how I act and how I am when I'm around you and her, and I realize I am the most comfortable and happy with myself when I'm around you two. We'll still always be rivals. <laughs> Funny enough, but I still also... I still also consider you an excellent friend as well, Akechi. I want both of you to be happy. And all three of us have been through a lot in our lives. Yet, when we are around each other... We always feel like we're at ease and... Sorry, I, I'm rambling. 
No, don't apologize. I understand. You sighed. I get what you mean. I feel eased and at peace whenever I'm around the both of you. I really hate to admit it. But... <sighs> it feels bizarre to find me with her and look behind you to see you're no longer there, trying to butt in and interrupt us. Ah, I love you too, sweetie. Ugh. We are still rivals, like you said. <laughs> he said, clearing his throat. <laughs> Closing his eyes. But I... I don't want to make her cry like that again. And we screwed up with pressuring her into choosing one of us. So... We can both keep her together and work together to make her feel happy and safe and secure. She deserves that after all that she's been through and all she puts up with. Right? So what do you say? Rivals, but not so good friends? Rivals, but good friends for the sake of her. Hmm. He hummed. We should probably go apologize and make it up to her. Any ideas? I have one. <laughs> the two males slowly made their way up the stairs. After taking their battle plan out, once Ren's head poked from the side of the door, he flashed a meek smile her way. May super special boyfriend number one enter, he called out sweetly. One? I guess he hissed from behind. I thought I was supposed to be one. You're ruining the plan. Ren whispered back. I guess she sighed gently. May... May super special boyfriend number two enter. <sighs> you nodded your head, allowing them to enter the bedroom. They both wore apologetic looks on their faces and bowed their heads slightly and bowed their heads slightly. Ren became the first to speak up. Love, we're sorry for behaving irrationally like that. It was very wrong of us to pressure you into making a decision like that. I wasn't intending to. I wasn't intending to push you so hard and make you cry like that. I apologize sincerely as well. But we both decided that we'd rather set our pride behind and be able to both satisfy and make you happy. Akechi even admitted that it'd feel weird if I was no longer around to interrupt you two. Akechi growled slightly. Uh, I, I, I didn't say that. He huffed before sighing. Uh, we may have agreed to tolerate the other for the sake of you, but it is going to be rocky for a while, I'm afraid. Ren chuckled meekly. <laughs> Just for clarification, I do try to get along with him, but he's the one who can't get along with me. <laughs> Akechi scoffed, looking over at him. You do understand you're asking me to get along with someone who calls me sweetie anytime we're in the same room. Ren snorted softly. <laughs> huh? Oh, but I thought you liked it when I called you, sweetie. You're always waiting for me when I get home. <sighs> I despise when you call me that. See what I have to work with? Such a dry sense of humor. Well, at least I don't ramble on and on. <gasps> what? What? I don't ramble on and on. I, 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 I don't ramble on and on, on and on, and on. Love, do I ramble on and on? Not on and on, on and off, but not on and on. On and on is definitely not me, right? Definitely not. Right, right, 
Right, love, right? I don't know. Do you? Do I? No, no. N I am pretty certain that I don't. Right. Not at all. Perhaps you are right. You definitely don't ramble. Ha! Ha ha ha! Sila, I don't ramble. I don't, I don't, I don't ramble. Wait. That was sarcasm in your voice, wasn't it? Akechi broke out into a soft chuckle. <laughs> You're making quite the fool of yourself, Ren. Ren bit his bottom lip, pouting softly as he turned his gaze back to you. I... I take back my earlier comment. It seems that he does have a sense of humor. Albeit, a dark one. Akechi sighed. Stepping forward and getting down on one knee, taking one of your hands in his. The point is, Pancakes, we both love you very much. And while we are still rivals, and there will be some bumps, we do still see value in each other. However, most importantly, we value you and love you above all else. And your happiness is worth every moment of torture I have to spend with this idiot. <laughs> Ren chuckled gently, getting down on one knee, taking your other hand into his. Exactly, save for the idiot part. Plus, I think I love her much more than you do. Akechi snapped loudly at the male. The hell you do! You began to giggle at their bickering, but the men confused it for more tears, fearing they've only upset you further. We're sorry. We'll get a better hang of that, love. Ren exclaimed. We apologize once more. You shook your head, assuring them that they were all right, before expressing how happy and grateful you are. To have them in your life. I'm glad and honored to be a part of your life, my sweet pancake, he mumbled, lifting your head up to place a kiss atop it. You've made the both of us absolutely happy and fortunate to get to have you all to ourselves. And after how rudely we acted downstairs, as Ren spoke, a catchy soft kisses on your hand had turned into sweet kisses that he was slowly trailing up your arm as he hummed deeply against your skin. We felt that we'd owed you more than just an apology. Ren's voice dropped into a low, seductive purr as he planted a lingering kiss on your other hand. There it is. A catchy murmur. Slowly moving his lips up to your shoulder, continuing to plant kisses. That cute, irresistible blush that coats your cheeks. He groaned softly before he captured a piece of skin between your shoulder and neck, beginning to suck on it. Ren planted a couple soft kisses around your other hand, repeatedly murmuring against your skin. Oh, wow. 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 O
<laughs> oh. <laughs> I love that expression on your face. It makes me want to... Oh. He whispered, slowly leaning up to capture your lips with his. Mm. Oh. Mm. Ren began to kiss you slowly and lovingly, causing you to hum satisfied as you work their lips together. Oh. Akechi growled gently as he suckled harder on your neck out of jealousy. Akechi released your patch of skin with a soft pop before running his tongue along the mark. Mine. Oh. Mine. Mine. Oh. Mine. Sensations from Akechi caused you to release a muffled moan, which allowed Ren time to slip his tongue into your mouth. Oh, mm, mm, mm. oh. Ren reached a hand up to grab it, tug gently back on your hair, causing you, causing your head to tilt back and open up more skin. For a catchy to attack. Ren released your lips, moaning with the light for a moment as you breathed, shake. Love, 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 you're making me so fucking crazy, he whispered before clashing his lips more needily against yours once more. Akechi didn't hesitate at all to more roughly kissing and biting at the skin on your neck. Hi. Oh, uh, uh, I, I may be sharing you now, he murmured between kisses in a low, raspy tone. But I'm still marking each and every part of your skin that's mine. His hand began running up your shirt and traced against your skin. Ren released your lips once more, still tugging lightly on your hair as you released a couple of hands. Uh, 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 leave, leave, leave me some room to mark her too, Akechi. Akechi growled gently, releasing the skin of her neck. Then stop hogging her lips and switch with me. Looks like you got a catchy just as crazy for you as you did me. Whatever shall we do? He hummed teasingly before planting a kiss on your earlobe. You talk too much, Ren. I'm trying to enjoy how beautiful she looks, with her mm. eyes so filled with want, oh. desire, mm. and her cheeks such a bright red. Oh. 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 
He licked your lips, releasing a deep breath. But he's right. I already can't control myself around you. He clashed his lips against yours, releasing a soft groan as Akechi continued to devour your lips. Ren trailed his kisses from your ear towards the side of your neck, slowly releasing your hair. I can't help but talk because I'm admiring her beauty too, you know. Her soft skin. I can't help but talk because I'm admiring her beauty too, you know. Her soft skin. Um. He moaned softly, running his tongue up your neck to your ear. How it tastes. He continued to murmur before he began to plant kisses down her throat. Your... Good morning. Sorry to wake us up from your dreams so suddenly. The rest of it is too steamy to be shown on YouTube. I hope you understand. Anyway, let's bring smiles to the world. CQ out. Hey there, everyone. CQ's here. And here's a little reminder for you to cast away any self-doubt in your mind right now. Right now might be a time for you to say, Hey, I need to believe in myself. I have no room for self-doubt. I believe in myself. So, powerful, powerful, powerful you. Go achieve your dreams and grasp your destiny with your own hands. You believe in you, and so I'll believe in you too. Hmm. Go, 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 go! Fighting! <laughs>